Hello, nail friends. Welcome back to another video by Nails by Miss Maddie. Today, I'm going to bring you an updated nail room tour. I haven't done a nail room tour in about 10 months, so I thought it'd be good if I just um, update you guys because I have uh, done some changes in this room and I wanted to share them with you. If you missed my first video, you'll know that this room is located in my backyard. It was a bonus room when I moved into this home and I decided to um, just kind of make it my nail room. And so yeah, some things have uh, been upgraded here. I have some really good storage. Um, I have some new uh, drawers from Ikea. I have some new, uh, storage items over here as well um so if you if i turn back around you'll see the door there's the door to my nail room i have my apron here from enail couture and i also have some nail bags uh behind the apron over here to the wall i just have some decorative items clocks and calendars these are the keys to my nail room it does have its own lock and key so i just kind of keep them hanging there over to this side, I have my first window. There's two windows in this room. This is the first one, the smaller one. I just have some decorative items on the window seal. My Buddha, fake plant, some Hello Kitty stuff. This is my nail polish from Louboutin. It was a gift from my daughter. And these flowers were also a gift from my daughter and some candles and stuff over here. I keep this little paper, um, window blind here just to kind of block out some of the sunlight that comes in here because it does get really really hot in this room so i try to block out the sun just to kind of keep it comfortable in here and then i just have some decorative um curtain panels up here that i purchased from walmart they are a set and it also came with these as well on the second window and then over here in the corner i just have um an Ikea desk that used to be over here and I moved it over here. And then I have two Ikea uh, shelving units. Um, they used to be top to bottom and I just moved them side by side now um, just to give this space a little bit more depth. Um, at the bottom here, I just have a lot of, um, that is a container of old nail polish. That is my pedicure, foot spa, this drawer here is where I keep all of my cleaning supplies. I just have some paper towels, disinfectant wipes, some spray. I have some ant <clears throat> and bug spray. I have some wasp spray because I did have a issue with wasp trying to form nests on the exterior of this room last year. Yeah, just some garbage bags, things like that I keep in here. And then these are my trays that I use when I'm doing pedicures. I just put everything on those trays and make sure it's nearby. That's my old practice hand right there. Over here in the corner, I just have some more stuff stored away, just empty containers, things like that. Um, these two panels I use in the window when it gets really hot in the months of June and July, just to kind of block out some of the sunlight. So over here on this first unit, I keep some items that I don't really use on a day-to-day. -day. So I just kind of keep that stuff in here. And then just some empty containers there. And then above that, I have my iGel Beauty nail system. I have my rechargeable nail dryer. I have the mini uh, pro lamp here. I also have my rechargeable drill, and this is the Mini Airbrush Pro. Back here is where I keep all of my stamping cases. That's where I store all of my stamping plates. And I used to have them in the drawer, but they are super heavy because they're really full. And um, it was just kind of too heavy for the drawer, so I thought it looked better on the shelves. And I, I really like the way that it looks on the shelves. This binder here, oops, is, is a photo album book that I use to keep all of my decals, all of my stickers, and everything comes in here. I purchased this photo album from <clears throat> eBay, and it was about, 
I want to say like $24 and it's made of vegan leather and it has a magnetic strip that opens and closes it really well and this is just where I keep my decals it has a pocket in the front it also has a pocket in the back as well um, so I just keep all of my stickers and decals in here I have some designer stickers nail stickers uh, flames lots of flowers and I really like this because the inserts really hug the sticker so they don't really move around and yeah just more flowers I have some holiday stuff here stickers more stickers um, yep lots and lots of stickers <clears throat> These are water decals. I don't really use them that much, but I do have a few decals here. This is just more holiday stickers. We have Mickey, Valentine stickers, uh, butterflies. We have some more designer stickers here. Um, more designers. I have some holographic butterflies here and yeah oh actually these are the stickers i have on my nails right now so cute i purchased these from shein so pretty and then i just have a little bit more room to grow back here um and then there's a second pocket right there so yeah this is where i keep all of my stickers and my decals in this binder and it stores really well with my stamping plates so that's what I have on this corner here. <clears throat> and the next section here at the bottom, this is where I keep some pedicure stuff. Mostly my waxing uh, supplies. This is my wax liners that I use to wrap my hands or my toes. And these little stickers you just attach to the plastic liners to keep the liners in place so they don't slide off your foot. And these are some dental bibs that I have. These are my waxing molds that I have in the peach flavor or scent. This is my wax machine. This was a gift from my sister a couple of Christmases ago. So I really love this machine. This is my sterilization tray. This is what I use to clean my uh, implements here. Just put them in there and sterilize them. I have some gloves back here and I also have my doggy pads. I love doggy pads. So I use these, I usually cut them up into squares and use them anytime I'm doing any sort of acrylic application. It does really well in absorbing the smell of monomer. So yeah, that's what I have here in the corner bottom. And let's see. And then at the top, I just keep some more items. These are some essential oils that I use in my pedicure uh, water. I have some bath bombs back here that I use in pedicure water as well. I have some bath uh, salts here. I have some dried rose petals that I also use in pedicures, just more bath salts. Here in this front little tray, I just keep some extra backup items like some tweezers. I have backup of my acrylic brushes. My favorite acrylic brushes come from Organic Nails, so I just have a couple of their brushes here. I have some files. I have some backup gel brushes. Yeah, just extra supplies I have here. In this little bowl, I just keep some random nail polishes. Um, these are polishes that I don't have a lot of one brand, like for Gelish. I, may, I only have like maybe a couple of bottles, so I just keep them in here. Um, yeah, so most of this is pedicure stuff backup supplies I keep some nail swatches in that little container there and then up top is I keep some more items stored I have a nail polish rack back here where I just keep some D&D &D nail polishes wonder gel you are sugar polishes here my key my figurine that I make I make these uh, keychain fingerings this is just the picture of some nails that I did a couple of years ago. I think I was learning how to do encapsulation of dried flowers. So I think I did a pretty good job 
with that application. So I just decided to um, frame it in this little glitter frame. Then over here, I have some more uh, frames of different signs, so cute. I also have my business cards in the middle there. <clears throat> I have another set of, I'm not sure why there's a reflection on this, but these are some fall nails that I did and I um, framed them as well. Over here is my little retail bar. I do um, make uh, nail keychains, so I just keep them here. These are some, this is a keychain that I did recently. And so I just keep the ones that are done in the back here. Um, these are need to be done or completed. I only attach the um, keychain portion of it, but I need to do the tips and decorate them and things like that. So I just kind of keep them hanging out there so I can work on them. Yep. So <clears throat> that's what I have in this section here. And then moving on to this wall here, I have my lamp. I have some other uh, picture decorative items on the wall. <clears throat> this is my beautiful futon that I moved into here to this room about a year ago. When I moved here, I had this futon in my old living room. And then when I moved to this house, I upgraded and bought a, a brand new sofa. So I decided to bring the futon into my nail room. And I just have some decorative pillows here, little blanket. And I have some throw rugs on the floors here. Uh, under these, the rugs are concrete. And so I uh, rent this home. So I was not going to put carpet down because I don't own this home or didn't want to invest any money in it. So I decided to just put down these throw rugs. This one I purchased from Walmart. And I just got a couple of set side panels here. I got some runners in the back there and under the sofa. So, yep, that's how I pretty much covered up the concrete. Um, here is the second window in the room. This was a much bigger room. I mean, excuse me, window. This fan, when it gets hot, I put it in this window. And it takes the hot air out and also brings cool air in. So sometimes when it's hot, I just put that in the window. It's feeling okay today, so I don't need to put it in there right now. <clears throat> and then just going to pan around here. There is my little chandelier. It's so cute and sparkly. So I just kind of put that on the ceiling. And then over here we have some Ikea units. Um, one of these I just purchased like a couple of months ago. I, wa I always wanted to have them too the two longer Ikea drawers side by side. So I was able to get another one and made that sort of a long unit. On top here, I have some things. Um, this is my ring light stand. Just kind of have that chilling out there. Then on top, I have some nail polishes, some gel liners. I have this cute little vase that was a gift from my sister. I just keep my OPI lotion in there. Uh, over here, I have a Kleenex tissue box. I have some glitters on the wall here. I have some more down here. This is where I keep a lot of my gel, potted gels. These are all Light Elegance. These are another brand that I have of potted gels. This is a, another brand, beautiful colors. I purchased these from eBay. Then I have my OPI gels here. more OPIs and more OPIs. Then over here, I have some Glitter Bells potted glitters. So pretty. These are some fantastic glitters. So I just kind of keep them in here. Then I have some more Glitter Bells. Um, this is their Unbelievable Gels. And I have a few more light elegance in the back that did not fit in this one. Then I have some OPI, not OPI, but <laughs> organic nails acrylic powders. Um, these are the, I think the 10 gram jars. This is some of their cover acrylics here. Then I have some Wonderland from their Wonderland collection. This is the top collection. I have some neon acrylics here as well. 
Here I have more organic nail acrylic powders and cover powders. Here I have some Christio um, potted gels and a few more of the organic nails um, acrylic powders that didn't fit in these. I just kind of stuck them in here. But these are from Christio. These are one ounce jars of their uh, sparkling gel acrylic, I mean gels. And then here I have more. I have some from Cocoist back there. These are all Christio. This is the smaller jars from their designer gel collection. Oops, I knew that was gonna happen. It's kind of hard doing this with nails, long nails, but yeah, we'll get through it. Okay, so I have those here. I also have some OPI uh, sculpting gel, um, designer gels here. Yep, and then here I have some OPI Artist Series Gels. These are the potted gels. I don't know, I think some of them spilled out. It's kind of stuck. But yeah, these are the OPI Artist Series Gels. And then I have a couple more from a different brand back here. <clears throat> um, over here, I just keep some... Let me just take a seat because it might be easier to do this sitting down. I keep some hand sanitizer here. I keep some uh, bath and body room spray here. This um, is another vase that was gifted to me from my sister. It goes with the um, vase over there. And this little box here, this was a gift from my daughter. And um, it's so cute. It has lots of glitter and nail polishes on top. I just keep candy in here. Um, if someone gets a sweet tooth or if I need something sweet, I'll have some candy over here. This little jar just keeps some cotton balls in. This jar back here was a gift from my daughter as well a couple of Mother's Days ago. And I just keep my um, Q-tips in this jar. So yeah, those are just some items I have here on the side. I have a little mirror over there and a water bottle. Then up here is where I keep some um, art canvas prints on the wall. I love this one so much. It's a lady with her pretty pin curls and her long stiletto nails. Really, really love that picture. Those three panels right there are light panels that I purchased from Walmart. And it comes with a remote and you just click it and all three panels come on. But it's daylight out, so I don't really need them on today. So... But yeah, pretty affordable uh, battery operated uh, panels. And then Wake, Pray, and Slay um, canvas panels that I received from my daughter. Um, so yeah, that's what's on the back wall here. And then we have the Alex drawers. These are the uh, six drawer units side by side. And I'll start over here. Uh, this one first. So I do have them labeled. I just feel like the labels help me to kind of stay organized and I don't have to look for things. I can just go to exactly what's in the drawer. So I do have them labeled. I did um, correct a lot of the labels last night before I did this video. So um, a lot of these, these labels are new. So in the first drawer here, we just have a lot of nail art um, designs and charms and things of that nature and here this is where i keep most of my nail art and my charms so these containers here you see i purchased these from the dollar tree and they line up pretty good with this drawer this drawer is long but it's kind of narrow in height so over here i just keep a lot of different nail charms and rhinestones these are the neon stones. We have these little lips. I purchased these from Shein. We have some nail foil. This is a pink hollow nail foil. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah. Uh, what else? We have some chunky glitters in here. We have some seashell stuff going on. Um, we have some rhinestones in here as well, more neon, 
these are the teardrop shapes here just a whole lot of nail art stuff i have some um shapes that go on the nail as well i have some paper cut out halloween um, charms or things that you encapsulate here there's some uh, stars in here as well just a whole bunch of nail art charms and stones and glitters um, in here yeah so that's where i keep that over here is like uh chunky mostly chunky glitters um different these are paper flowers that you use to encapsulate these are mixed glitters um just very random glitters have those mixed glitters what else do i have just an assortment here uh, and this container is where I keep some more charms. These are the charms where you drill the little hole in your nails and these dangle off the nail. So those are pretty cool. I have some Fimo slices. Oops. I have some Fimo slices back here. I have um, some more charms and things for the nails. I have, what else? Oh, these little white butterflies. These are so cute. What else? Oh, I have some neon flowers back here. I have some 3D butterflies in this container. Uh, what else? I have some bows. I also have some, three, some other 3D flowers in here. These are pink with the caviar beads. So cute. Um, what else? Oh, more 3D flowers. Or Fimo. Mixed glitters. Just things like that are in here. Yep. And it just works for me the way I have them organized for now. Um, over here is where I keep my bigger charms. And these little nail grids have different uh, nail art in them this as well. I have some random charms and rhinestones in there. I have, these are 3D flowers and butterflies. I have some neon stuff going on in here. I love neon colors. Anything neon, I just, I'm such a fan. These are neon stones. Whoops. Sorry about that, guys. And what else? I have some more rhinestones, or not rhinestones, but neon flowers and butterflies and stuff like that in here. I have some other neon butterflies. Uh, these are strawberry, not strawberry, but cherry charms. I just wore these, actually, uh, Easter weekend. And then these are where I keep my bigger, larger stones. I keep them in these grids, cases here. Just an assortment of charms. These are on the bigger side. So pretty. And then there's more here. Um, I have some more over here on the side here. Just various charms and stuff. Um, in this little Hello Kitty container, is where I keep some nail tools. This is a waxing block that you use to pick up rhinestones. Um, this is the tool that you would use to drill a hole in the nails for um, to place these charms. And these little um, shapes here is what you use to bend any sort of nail charm that needs to lay flat on the nail. You just put it in the middle here and then press down with these little sticks. And these work really good. So I just keep all of that in this little container. Over here I have some nail wheels. Let me see if I can put some more light over here. Okay. And just various wheels. I have some um, pearls right here. I have some butterflies, just some stones, um, more stones, some female slices back there. So I keep all the little wheels 
in this container here. I have some hearts, not hearts. I am pronouncing stuff wrong. I'm so sorry, guys. These are uh, cherries. So I have the silver cherries and I have the gold ones. More nail art stuff is over here. I have some AB crystals right here. So yeah, in this drawer I keep most of my nail art and charms and things like that. I keep in this drawer. And I like these Alex units because they're very long. So you're able to spread out quite a bit of items here. So yeah, that's the first drawer. Uh, let's see. And then the second drawer we have is glitters. So I keep my glitters here. Well, most of my glitters. I have like two to three glitter drawers. So this is one of my favorite drawers. This is where I have broken down a lot of my glitters. These are chunky glitters you see here. I try to organize them by color as best as I could. Um, <clears throat> and these are little uh, 20 gram jars that I have broken these glitters down in. Very pretty. And then I just have them lined completely across the drawer. I have a couple of empties back there just for room to grow. I have some uh, one ounce jar glitters there. Um, yeah, so this is one of my favorite drawers. I normally use a lot of glitters from these drawers when I do my nails. Then over here, I have some fine glitters. These are the fine glitters. Um, and these are stored in 10 gram jars. So I have 20 for the chunky and and 10 for the the fine. And yeah, so these are just different um, shades of my fine, my fine glitters that are kind of considered my most favorite, I guess. This is a hollow green, so freaking cute. This is another hollow, silver hollow. Just different colors. Yep, so I keep one of my, uh, most of my favorite used fine glitters in this little section. But yeah, that is one of my glitter drawers. Okay, and then the next drawer is also glitter. And so I keep more glitter stored in this drawer. Um, sometimes when I order glitters, they come in the little um, plastic bags. So I break them down into smaller uh, portions like in these jars. And I just keep the rest of the leftover in here. I have some four point stars here. These have also been broken down into smaller packages as well. So yeah, just different colors of glitter that I have here. Ooh, that's a pretty one. So pretty. And these lay flat, so they're easy to store. I have some foils over here. These have also been depotted into smaller amounts. Um, I will be doing a giveaway at 100 subscribers on YouTube. So a lot of these glitters and foils will be a part of that giveaway. I have so much of them that I need to hand some stuff out. Um, this is one of my favorite foils. It's the pink... Um, Ne uh, not neon, but hollow foil. And then over here, I have even more glitters. These are some mixes that I made. Um, and I did show these in my last video. Then I have some more fine glitters here. There's more in the back over here. So yeah, all of these glitters are housed in this drawer. Um, the organization works for me. I can pretty much easily find everything that I'm looking for. So yeah, that's another glitter drawer. Then down here we have nail foils. This is a fun drawer as well. Again, I like how I'm able to spread all of my foils out and to be able to see everything. Just different designs here. I love this big butterfly one. And I buy these from everywhere. Um, Shein, I've bought them from iGel Beauty. 
Amazon, just different places. These are some more foils, the circle ones that came like this. I just kind of put them in this container. There's more down here. Um, this little container is where I keep all the used foils. So sometime when we do foils and we cut them, we still have room to use them again. So instead of putting them back in the original cases, I keep all the little strips that I can use again in this little case right here. So yeah, thought that was a great idea. I also keep my Swarovski crystals stored in this drawer as well. And this is the container that holds like the grid compartments. And so, yeah. So these are my um, Swarovskis. Very cute. I love them. And they store really nicely in this uh, drawer. I can lay them flat along my foils. So yeah, this is where I keep my foils. And then the next drawer is where I keep all of my nail stamping supplies. I did show you guys where I keep my cases over there in that uh, shelving unit. But here's where I keep like all of my um, stamping gel polishes. I have some fluorescent stamping gel polishes here. I have some regular lacquer stamping polish here. Um, just some stampers that I got from MoU London, more stampers. This is a dual head stamper. These are replacement head stampers. Um, this little thing here is used to clean off your stamping plates with a cotton ball. So that's a really neat gadget. Um, yeah, just stamping supplies. This is my color palette case from Enel Couture. This is my practice finger that I use from time to time. These are my color mixing um, palettes that I use here. This container holds all of my most used stampers. So you'll see that I have quite a few in here. And I did do a stamping video. I'll try to link it in the description, but these are my stamping scrapers. Uh, my most used favorite stampers here by Maniology, MoU London, just different places. So I keep my stampers in there. This is just other supplies that I have. Um, lots of scotch tape. I have some stampers in here that I don't really use anymore. Um, yeah, so that's what I keep in this drawer, stamping supplies. Then down here in this last drawer is just kind of where I keep um some acrylics that don't really fit anywhere else in the room so just some uh easy flow acrylic i have some a and c acrylic i have some mia secrets down here um i gel beauty i have some acrylic glitter acrylics that i made oh some years ago these were like kind of like the first um glitter acrylics that i made so just kind of keep them here in this drawer and I try to keep liners in my drawer so things won't slide around. And you guys know you can pick these up pretty much anywhere. But I, I think I got these from the Dollar Tree. So, yep, that's what I keep in this last drawer. Then if we move over to this drawer here, we have uh, some nail supply items. Uh, this drawer is an assortment of a lot of things. I have more potted gels in this little container here that did not fit in the drawers up here so i just kind of keep them housed in here i have some uh, sculpting gel i don't even know how to get this to work for me um it doesn't really dry so i may include this in a giveaway because i can't get it to work for me this is some clear gel by Christio. i love this clear gel I use this a lot when I want to make my own custom gels, like glitters and stuff. So yeah, I just keep that over here. This is just a little random little bucket I have with my uh, portable uh, LED um, light thing. Um, this is just rhinestone gel, little stuff here. And then over here is where I keep um, the remote, this is the remote to my light panel up here. This is the remote to my ring light. This is just a little plate that I use to sort rhinestones. This is a Jill, uh, Jill. This is a, a bit cleaner for the drill bits that I have. 
This is a nail polish holder. Just a little random stuff that I keep in here. Over here, I keep some drill bits. These are from Kiara Sky. Let me see if I can get more light over here. That may work. This is a brush holder. These are some more drill bits. These are some protein bond by Organic Nails. This works really good. So I have two bottles of that. I have some wipe solution. I have some lip liquid septic that I use when a nip happens or a scrape. This stops the bleeding. This stuff works really good. I don't use it that much because I don't have too many accidents, but still, still good to have it. These are um, cuticle oils back here, a little mini one from uh, Light Elegance that I have. Uh, organic nails, cuticle oil. This is a, a, a flower scented cuticle oil that was a gift from my daughter. I believe she purchased this from Ulta. It smells so good. Then there's some coconut oil, one that I made, pure coconut oil. Over here, I just have some bits and bobs, uh, different funnels. Uh, top openers and things like that I keep in this container. I have some bonding stuff over here, some nail prep items, Mia Secret, Mia Secret Extra Bond. And these are just little mini gel polishes that don't really fit anywhere else because they're so tiny. So I just kind of keep them all here together and this little section here. Yep, so that's what I have in the first drawer. And then the second drawer is like my manicure pedicure stuff. Um, I keep everything that I can easily grab when I'm doing nails and pedicures. Uh, so this is like my soap off stuff over here. These are just um, some toe dividers that I use on myself. Um, these are some filers and buffers, to more brand new toe separators. Um, brushes and disposable foot scrubbers back here. This is where I have like my cuticle remover stuff. Um, all of that stuff is housed here. Lotions. I have some cuticle remover by Enel Couture. I have some uh, some serum to clarify your nails. Um, what else do I have? This is some cuticle serum. By Christian door this stuff is really good I love this um, I have some foot scrubber stuff back there just all kind of serums and scrubbers and removers for manicures pedicures over here I have some pedicure packs like this is a mask and some other stuff these are my facial masks that I keep in here I also keep my my doggy pads here I cut them up into little squares so uh, they're ready to go. I keep them in here. Uh, behind there, I have some more manicure, pedicure masks as well. This is where I keep my gel-free, not gel-free, but lint-free uh, wipes. I have uh, different sizes. I cut them up into custom sizes. I have some small ones. I have some medium size ones, and I have some bigger size wipes back here as well. So I just kind of keep all this stuff here ready to go for manicures and pedicures. And the next drawer is where I keep um, basically press-ons and, yeah, random tips and stuff. So, uh, yeah, I keep all of my uh, press-ons here. I purchased most of these from Shein, and I just love them. They are so good and pretty. All of them are just really just awesome, and they were only a couple of dollars. So, yeah, I just keep my press-ons in here. Um, these are press-ons that I use. I'm going to be using for my silicone practice hand that I have. And then just more press-ons over here. These are some tips, backup tips and stuff that I have. More um, full coverage nail tips in here. So yeah, this is where I keep most of yeah that kind of stuff. And then the next drawer is where I keep some acrylic powders. This is, um, this drawer holds quite a bit. These are some D&D &D dip powders that I had when I was doing dip nails some years ago. Don't really use them anymore, so I gotta figure out what to do with them. But I did love these so much um, when I was doing dip. Um, 
I guess you can use them with monomer, but um, yeah, these are dips. These are some from iGel Beauty that I have. These are glitter acrylics that I made myself. I mix them and they are organized um, by numbers. So I have them swatched with numbers. And this container of acrylics I did share in my last video, but these are little 10 ounce, 10 grams, my bad. 10 gram jars that uh, I made. These are glitter acrylics here. And these are also organized by number. Yeah, just different ones that I've made over the years. And I really like these a lot. So that fits perfectly in here. So yeah, I just keep acrylics and customs in here. The next drawer is more nail tips and files. This drawer is kind of heavy. Uh, but yeah, I keep uh, all of my uh, nail tips and uh, other things like sanding bands. This, These are tips for my old practice hand that I showed you guys. So these are tips for that. Um, one of my favorite brand of tips is of course Glitter Bell. So I just have different ones here. I have the long stiletto, coffin, almond, just different shapes, clear stiletto. So yeah, I keep those in here. I also have some other tips back here. Yeah. Um, I have some Panna sanding bands right here. These are some Russian stiletto tips by Enel Couture. I have some white tips back here, stiletto tips. Just a lot of whole, whole different, whole lot of tips in different shapes. These are square. I have my favorite files back here. My favorite files are the 100-100 the, uh, zebra files. So I keep an abundance of them here. I also have some glitter bells, 100-100 files. I don't really like these that much. They kind of, they're really coarse. They're, they're more like an 80-80 in my opinion. So I don't really use these that much. I might include these in a giveaway. Just more tips back here. I have some sanding bands from Kiara Sky. Yeah, so that is basically what goes in this drawer. And that is it for the Alex drawers. And so now we're just gonna pan around. I have some art on the walls. You guys could see that. And those have not changed much since my last video. I just love these, the art that's on the wall. And so on this side of the room is where I keep some other items as well. This is um, basically my other Alex units I have. And I have some display here of um, my glitter bells supplies. So these are all glitter acrylics here. And then I have some uh, gel polishes from glitter bells. And then I also have some of their prep items like a dehydrator, primer, base coat. Um, I have some of their cover powders back here, mostly uh, the glass slippers, which is the clear acrylic. That is my absolute favorite. And then I have some cover powders at the top there as well. But most of those large jars are the uh, clear. I also have a lot of their um, glitter acrylics here. And these are like my favorites. I so love, they have some really good glitter acrylics. So these are one ounce jars and I just keep them stored on this rack here. And then over here in this corner, I have some e-nail couture items, just different polishes. I have some base coats some top coats. Yeah, all that kind of stuff here. And then in this container, I just keep some uh, glitter, not glitter, but um, glitter bells tools and also email couture. This is the rhinestone picker by Glitter Bells. 
This is a some brushes by Enel Couture. This is another glitter brush by Glitter Bells. This set of brushes I purchased from Glitter Bells. I absolutely love these brushes. They're just too cute with the glitter and the water combination. Super cute. I have the ombre brush. I have some gel striping brushes. This is the size 14 acrylic brush. And yeah, these are so cute. So I just have them kind of out and displayed here in this container. And over here, I keep my email couture monomer dish here. I tend to put it back in this original bottle after I'm done because I feel like it is it evaporates in this jar if I leave it out because it's not sealed. But this is my damping dish for my monomer. This is um, Glitter Bell's um, clear acrylic in here with the dish. This dish was purchased from Glitter Bell's as well. Super cute. These uh, coasters were a gift from my daughter. These were purchased from Anthropology. They are really heavy because they are real stone, I guess. Um, yeah, these were purchased from her by Anthropology, and I love these so much. It has the gold trim. Whoops. And so, yeah, I just keep my jars displayed on uh, those. So, yeah, that's what I keep in the corner. Then in this first drawer, let's put some light over here. We have uh, mostly top coat base coats. I do have a lot of Enel Couture supplies in here. So I have acrylics from Enel Couture in here. I have some Builder Gel in a jar over here. I have, oops, this phone is about to fall. Then I have some bubblegum gel. And then over here, I just have some uh, various uh, gel polishes from Fun Gel Collection. And then more gel polishes here. Also have gummy gel. I love this stuff. It works so well for rhinestones and also press on nails. Um, this is some top coats from Enel Couture. And then over here, I just have some uh, various top coat base coats by Enel, not Enel, but iGel Beauty. I have some top coat base coats by Light Elegance. Where is that? Right here. I have some top coat base coat by D&D. I have some backup top coat by Glitter Bells. I have some foil glue by iGel Beauty. I have some blooming gel. This stuff works really good by D&D. I also have some top coat base coat from my pedicures. I don't use gel polish on my toes. So I use the top coat by Sash Veet and um, base coat by Sally Hansen. So that is for my pedicures. Yeah, so mostly all top coat, base coats, all that kind of stuff is in here and some email couture stuff. Okay, so in the next drawer, um, this is just a miscellaneous drawer. I just keep some backup glue in here. Nail tips for my practice hand. Some tips. I don't know why these are in here. Um, and I'm also just kind of throwing stuff in here because I am getting stuff together for a giveaway. When I get to 100 YouTube subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway. So I just have some uh, stamping plates in here uh, that are brand new. Just some stuff I'm just adding to this drawer uh, on a weekly basis. These are just some backup containers. Um, I usually put my glitters in here. You guys saw in the drawer, my glitter drawer. So these are the containers I purchased from Amazon, swatch sticks. So stuff like that just goes in here, miscellaneous stuff for like a giveaway and things that I'm doing. Um, in this drawer, this is glitter, more glitter. Um, a lot of my bigger glitters that I have broken down into smaller sizes, I keep the, just keep them in here. Um, various other glitters, other glitters. These were mostly purchased from Michaels, all of these right here. Then this container here is where I keep all of my cracker sticks, things like that. I just keep them all here. You know, it's, it's just kind of good to look back at where you've come 
with your um, nails. And so, yeah, I like to keep them all in here. I'll throw them away. So, yep, just a glitter drawer. The next drawer is uh, more pedicure stuff. I keep a surplus of items in here. I have some uh, toe separators back there. I have some brushes here. This is my absolute favorite uh, nail, I mean not nail, but foot scrubber. It's by um, Mr. Pumas. You can purchase these at Sally's. This is where I first discovered them at Sally's years ago, but now I can order them in bulk on uh, eBay or Amazon. So this is my, my absolute favorite uh, foot scrubber I use on my pedicures. I have, I use disposable foot um, stones on other people. They are disposable, but this one, these I use on my, my own feet here. Then I have some cuticle remover down there. I have some buffers, uh, email couture buffers. I have some lint-free wipes that I don't use because those definitely have lint. And so they are not lint-free. I don't even know why I still have them in there, but that's where they are. Just some other implements I have for pedicures in here. Um, I have some pedicure, manicure, other mask here. I have some pedicure slippers back there. So yeah, just pedicure stuff. Down here is where I keep nail polish. Um, again, I don't use gel on my toes. So I still use uh, regular nail polish on my toenails. So I just have different brands here. And yeah, so this is, I have some by Fun Lacquer, which these are really expensive. These cost just as much as gel polishes. Um, then I have some drugstore brands back here that I got from the Dollar Tree. I have some Etsy's back here. So yeah, just regular nail polishes in this drawer. Okay, so in this unit, this is a door unit. And um, I keep a lot of supplies in here as well. So in here is where I keep a lot of my liquids. I keep some containers for acrylics that I like to switch up every now and then. These two drawers are add-ons. I purchased these from Amazon. If you want like extra space, you can uh, buy add-on drawers to kind of add to your uh, organization. So in this first drawer, I just keep some uh, UV gloves in here. If I remember to use them, um, I try to use those before I dry my nails. Um, it's supposed to help with like preventing any sort of damage from the UV rays. I use them when I remember to, but most of the time I forget. Um, this is some cleanser from Glitter Bells. This is some alcohol, lint-free wipes. I just have some cuticle stuff back here, some nippers and stuff like that. Just easy to grab stuff I keep in this little drawer. Um, this drawer is, or this container is where I keep all of my liquids. This is some clear acrylic powder from Email Couture. Um, I keep monomers back here, cuticle oil stuff. Uh, this is the cotton candy monomer by Email Couture. I have some glitter bells monomer and diamond shine. I have some acetone stuff back here. So all the larger liquids get stored here. I also have some Mia Secret monomer back there, just different containers. Oops. Yeah, so I keep all of that back in this container. And then down here is another drawer. This is just a drawer where I keep some empty containers for my nail art. Um, I keep some, there's some striping tape back there. These are little, um, nail art stuff that didn't fit in my other drawer so I just kind of keep all that stuff in here. Um, down here I keep some soak off bowls. I keep my old armrest that came with my nail table, uh, nail dryer spray for my pedicures, foot scrub stuff back there, safety glasses, just all kind of like backup nail uh, dryer lamp. So I just keep all the big items down there. Yep, that's what I keep in there. And then moving on to the next section over here, I have this three drawer um, little spacer here. I purchased this off of Facebook Marketplace and I just thought it was just too cute. It was like $15, but I loved it because it had the uh, flowers and stuff. So 
Um, what I keep in this first drawer, just a lot of administrative stuff, like my label maker. I have my agenda books here, um, receipt books, pens, business cards, napkins, just different stuff, face mask, um, headache stuff. Yeah, I just kind of keep that in here. The second drawer is for my pictures. So these are the backgrounds and stuff that I use for my pictures. When you guys see them, I usually post on Instagram. So I use a lot of these backgrounds as props for the pictures. So I keep all of those in here. The next drawer is also, I think, prop stuff. These are liners for my drawers that I showed you guys earlier. More prop stuff. This container has some other background stuff for pictures, holiday stuff, Halloween, just all of that lives there. And yeah, so these two drawers are basically for props and stuff. So yeah. Oops. And then over here, if we look down, there's another Alex 2 drawer panel. This particular panel was advertised to go on the wall, but I didn't want it on the wall. I wanted to make it an extension of these two units. And so I did that by putting a table up under it and kind of laying it across both these um, drawer unit and table right here. So in these two drawers, I keep my keychain supplies. This is what I use to make my keychains and all the jewels and trinkets excuse me, and different things like that I keep in here. So this is all keychain stuff. Same with this drawer here. This is all keychain stuff as well. And all of this stuff fits perfectly in these drawers. So that is what I have over here. And I'm gonna get up so you could just kind of see so yeah, that's what this area looks like over here. And I have my television over there, of course. I have a little fan that I use sometime when I'm sitting here at my desk. I also keep a coffee mug warmer there. That is my little garbage can. And then all of my cords, I need to figure out a way <laughs> to keep those covered. But So this is my nail desk. And I'm going to go out a frame so you can see what that looks like as you walk in the door. So that is my client chair here when I'm doing someone else's nails. And yeah, that's the view that you see from here. Then this is my lamp situation. So I had a lamp, a little cheap lamp that I bought from Amazon about a year ago. It was like $25. It went out within 10 months. So I was very frustrated because I felt like I need to invest in a better lamp. So this is like an architect lamp that I purchased from Amazon. That's the name right there. And I absolutely love this nail lamp. It gets the job done. It's very uh, wide. You can see it lights up the whole room. You can move it back and forth. It has different settings, so you can adjust the light. And uh, you can move it back and forth. You can just do a lot with this lamp. And this was like $100 on Amazon, but well worth it. It's the best lamp I've ever had. And then if I go back around to my nail table here, this is my uh, camera phone holder that I use when I need to record overhead. This is what I use to do that. Purchased off of Amazon as well. This is my chair. And this is a magnifying lamp. So this lamp here, it has a light and I'll just turn it on here. If I can get it on. Oh, there we go. And so, yeah, it is. And I just use this if I really need to get some more detail 
vision on what I'm doing. I can use this magnifying lamp to get in a closer look. And my eyes are not that great. You know, as you get older, your eyes are just not as great as they used to be. So this is really helpful to kind of get in there and it has a light. Okay, so this is my nail table. And this is the table that is the portable nail table. And it doesn't come with drawers and I really didn't want a desk with drawers because I have so many drawers already. I just wanted something that I can move out of the way, didn't take up too much space. I do need to move this back towards the door area when I'm doing pedicures. So this works perfect for me. This is my um, silicone hand. I just purchased this from Eno Couture. So I haven't really gotten a chance to use it yet, but I've had it a couple of weeks and it did mess up my table. So I had, I had this suctioned on my table and it really, it damaged my table. I'm going to have to get a new table because of it. And that's okay. Cause this table I've had for many, many years, it's probably time to get another one anyway, but this suction thing ripped the, uh, and I'll show you guys what it did. So I had this suction to my table and it ripped up this plastic um oops plastic part of my table so i had it suctioned on here i came in the next day the whole ham was on the floor and this was all ripped up so yep just fyi i would not recommend having these practice hands suction to something like that so this base came with this magnifying light so you can put this light on the side of your table like that or you can use the base so i wasn't using the base and it was perfect to put my practice hand on and i don't have to worry about removing my practice hand and putting it different places it stays right on this base and i can just move this base uh anywhere i want so i wish i would have known that before uh it ruined my table but I'll just get another one, but just FYI, just be careful with those suction things. Um, yeah, this is the tabletop. This is my, I use my Enel Couture mat and the armrest. This is my Kiara Sky drill, which I love so much. I use this one and my iGel Beauty. I pretty much go in between both. This is on my, my little trolley I keep on my desk. It just has a lot of my liquids cuticle oil, monomer dishes, or not monomer, but acetone dish. These are my acrylic brushes here. My favorites are, of course, are organic nails. I also have some Valentino brushes here. This is all of my implements, my um, cuticle pushers, tweezers, my rhinestone pickers, dust brushes, files, buffers, all that stuff I keep here. And over here is where I keep my nail polish rack. At the bottom, I have my regular nail polishes that I normally use on my, my pedicures. And then up here, these are all iGel Beauty polishes with the matching lacquers. These are light panels. Sometimes when I'm out here at night, it's just kind of cute to have these on. And yeah, so that is my nail rack with my polishes. Over here on the other side is where I keep my swatches. Majority of my swatches are here. My little sign, my Buddha. I try to keep candles going at all times. This is a little furnace heater, space heater that I use. I purchased it from Walmart some years back and it looks like a little fireplace. So in the winter time, this is so pretty out here. So yeah, this is the heating. Um, my waste paper basket is here. I got this little one from the Dollar Tree. It was so cute. So that is like my little desk garbage can there. Um, what else? Oh, and I keep the swatch sticks that I use the most down here below on my desk. So I purchased these little clips from the Dollar Tree and it just houses my most used uh, swatch sticks. These are Eno Couture gel colors. These are 
my own glitter mixes that I mix that I showed you guys earlier. So I use them quite often. So I just keep them here by my desk. And same over here. This is Glitter Bells. Gel polishes and acrylics are all stored here. And my face mask. And that is my phone holder and charger. So my battery is about to die. Perfect timing. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions for me, of course, you can leave them down in the description box. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed. You can also follow me on Instagram at Nails by Miss Maddie. Until the next video, you guys take care. Have a great day. Bye.